Eminent guys, um, gotta tell you a quick story to tell you another story. You know, I give you a lot of theory here. Okay, we don't do a bunch of technical analysis because all of you guys already know how to trade. I don't have to teach you how to trade. Now, um, starting next week, I will go into a deep dive on indicators. I don't really like to do this a lot publicly because. The I have so many exchanges following me, right? So, but I will go into a deeper dive on indicators in terms of just theory, okay? So, um, if that's something that you're interested in, let me know in the comments. It's free, it's free, but I don't want to bring you some shit that y'all are not interested in. But I have one or two people when I posted yesterday about um, my indicator called the truth. Right. Um, I don't really post those parameters because of the, the criminal is exchanges. But um, I'm going to I'm going to show you how to create your own pr parameters and then you can reach out to me and I'll confirm it. Just like, you know, like you're submitting your term paper to a teacher, you'll send it to me and I'll do what I need to do and send it back to you to make sure it's accurate. And that way I don't have to post a ton of information privately. I mean, publicly, right? I don't want shit from you. This is a public service. But today, today, I'm doing this for the new traders and I'm doing this for the people who are with me every day. It's not fair for me to hoard information that could keep you safe. And the purpose of this channel is to keep you safe. Okay. I don't want shit from you. I'm not asking you for shit. If you decide to buy me some Popeye's chicken, I work for food. Spoon man. Anyway, check it out. My brother calls me. Y'all know once when they hacked my house, here's the story. It's going to be a short one. When they hacked my house, guys, um, and I told you, I damn near ended up homeless. You know, my girl left, took the kids, you know, went to stay with her father in Lake Charles. So I lost my family, you know. Because I'm obsessing over how did they get in my house and hack all my things. So every day I'm obsessing over this shit and I'm not even trading. I'm just obsessing on how to get them out of my house. And the process of that, I'm not making any money. I went from making really good money to not making any. Right. Show an example of it. Now, I had a lot of videos like this one that I took down. Yeah, I just showed Video. Right. This when I realized I had made myself this a target. First, I thought it was just some random guys who hacked me because I was constantly showing how much money I was making during the day. You know how when you're naive and you're excited about your trading skills, you'll post it to prove that I am the fucking man when it comes to this trading shit. I'm the man. I went through that phase. Right. Then my ass became a target. Right. But this is one such video right here, you know, guys, I really was making really good money for a while. OK, so I always tell you that, you know, yes, it's a scam. Can you make money off the scam? Absolutely. You can. Here's a video right here where I posted where twelve hundred dollars profit in three hours trading for my brother. Right. So I, over a three hour period, everything that I made during that period, I gave to him. But my entry points were, were so, so amazing that I created, you know, what I call a fountain, you know, and the fountain is when your entry points are so perfect and the volume comes together perfectly that this thing just just shoots in the air like one of those fountains in front of Vegas, just whoosh, straight up in the air. Right. So this is an example of a fountain on Binance. You notice I never post any videos anymore of me trading on Binance. Right. So but this is this is money that was never made again after a certain point. Right. And I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. Now, my brother calls me. Show you how the universe works. Right. So when I got hacked, I called my brother. 
and I uttered words he had never, never heard me say ever. What were those words, TJ? This is November the 7th, right? Wife and kids had been gone at this point. I'm in an a empty house with just a trading desk, some monitors, and an air mattress. This is how I'm living, right? And I'm, I'm up, I wake up every day, number one, invest in, how, I mean, um, in, in researching how to stop a remote access hack. That was the first thing I was obsessing over. How to remove root kits from your computer and your phone. While I'm distracted with that, I'm not trading, I'm not making money, right? And the hackers are feasting off my Bitcoin, right? The hackers that I now know is Oracle Fast Money Trader and FTX, right? Robbing me blind. And Binance, don't leave them out either. Binance, right? But I'm, I'm, but I'm tied up. And this is what they'll do to you, right? They throw these distractions. So I call him. I say, "Bro, here's the sentence I never. He never heard me utter. I say, I need a job." <laughs> and he said, "What? Now he's at work, right?" I said, "I need a job." Wait, you serious? I said, I need a job. <laughs> Scream. <laughs> I need a fucking job. He said, I'm sorry, man. He's sorry. I'm sorry, but I just never heard you use that sentence before. What's going on? I said, walk over to the new. I said, you got TVs around you? Yeah, he's, he works at a, it's a sports bar, right? Restaurant. I said, turn one of them on Bloomberg. He turns that shit on Bloomberg. And there's the FTX crash happening in real time, happening to me real time. Right. And that's when he realized, he said, well, bro, when you when you're trying to work, you know, I see he said, this is a restaurant. You ain't you, you don't you ain't never did shit like this. You know, I, bro, I have I've, I've been in business for myself, guys, since 94. You know, I haven't really had a job job. You know, I was an executive for Sears Credit. That's my extent of working for people. Right. And he says, only thing we got here is waiting tables, a bartending. You don't drink, so you don't know shit about none of this liquor or washing dishes. I said, bro, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I need a job. So I goes there. I go there as a waiter, start waiting tables, which I discovered I loved, by the way. I'm telling you guys. Y'all sleeping on waiting tables because from the process of waiting tables, I started picking up two, three, four, five hundred dollars a day cash. <laughs> Fucking cash. You know, it's so about a month after waiting tables. He's like, bro, I didn't think you would still be here. I said, where, where you think I'm going? And you paying me five hundred dollars cash every day. You know, just unheard of. Shit. Waiting tables, bro. Bringing food to the table and laughing and joking and having a great time with people. Well. Um, recently I had to step away because I got hurt. Right. And so I'm no longer at the restaurant. Right. So he calls me this morning. He said, you will never guess who I just finished talking to. He said, I've been calling your phone, man, all morning. Why the fuck you ain't answering? I'm like, bro, we had a snake in the, under the carport thing. I had to deal with the snake. He says, bro, guess who I was talking to? I said, who? One of the federal investigators investigating cryptocurrency exchanges. He said he's staying here at the hotel right now. I said, I got a big ass case record at the office in New Orleans. He says, I know. He said, T, they already know who you are. <laughs> said, he said, I'm trying to I'm trying to introduce you to him. He said, but they already know who you are. I said, nah, this is the part where I got scared. I said, I don't fucking know who I am. He said, they saw your channel. They saw the videos. Bruh, this is what they saw. So I just wanted to share a moment with you guys and take a victory lap. This is the shit that they already have. Scam alert. Binance are criminals. He says, bruh, they, that's right. He says, 
they already know who you are. He says, this video right here, this video. He said he told me about the video. And a scam as well. He said, you captured proof of the racketeering. He says the SEC has this video. I could have started crying. He said, bro, we were calling you. I said, I know it's outside. We had a fucking snake outside. I don't do snakes. I'm from New Orleans. We don't even have pets. <laughs> he said, bro, I just want to let you know, man, all your hard work, all of that wasn't in vain. They know who you are. And some of your videos have been used to make, to, to shore up our Confirm, he said, you captured the, some of these scams in real time. He said, they already know who you are, bro. He said, you're going to be getting another call from him, right? He said, because you don't answer your fucking phone. They said, they said they they called you twice. I said, bro, that's probably somebody been calling me from my one eight uh, eight hundred number. He says, probably them. He said, and call twice. Guys, they know who I am. I just wanted to share that story with you because just when you think nobody's listening, nobody's paying attention that you're doing this shit for nothing. You know, I, I said, I don't give a shit if nobody ever watches any of these videos. I want to go on record that I was making money until these people scammed me. They scammed me. I even, if you, if you start at the beginning of my videos and keep scrolling, I know this went a little bit long, but I want to show you how long I've been I've been fighting for you guys. I ain't asked nobody for shit, did I? Look at all of this hard work in obscurity, in complete obscurity. You know, and I did get mad at white people. I apologize for that. I did say a lot of racist shit. And I apologize about that. I said a lot of racist shit about Asians. I apologize about that. Right? And I came back. Because, you know, I'm, I'm not beyond, uh, you know, admitting when I've made a mistake. And I came back, I said, I'm sorry. I'm not talking about everybody because I grouped everybody. in. I got mad with all white people when that shit went down with um, FTX. And I came back here and I said, I'm sorry. I said some shit that I shouldn't have because I'm angry with one particular segment. I'm not referring to all white people, I'm not referring to all Asians. I'm referring to the ones that are in cryptocurrency. So if I have said something and I've hurt your feelings because of those words, I ask for your forgiveness. I was angry because I was victim of a very violent hack, a very aggressive hack. Right. And I blamed all white people and all Asians for this hack. And it's not everybody. But just look at all the work I did I'm about to end this video. Look at all of the work I did. If you go back to the beginning of these videos on this channel and I and I regret I deleted a lot of them. I think I have some of those on my football channel. Right. Because they locked me out of this one. They wanted to make sure I didn't post any videos on this. one, so I couldn't get into this one for a while. I had to get a representative from Google to help me get back into this channel. That's when we figured out who was doing this. They didn't want me posting any more videos. And you'll notice that even yesterday, I posted a video yesterday, guys, that wouldn't allow me to to wouldn't allow you guys to leave a comment. You know, I leave comments open. Somebody's still in my shit. Somebody went in there and selected do not allow comments. So they're still in this phone. I want them to stay in this phone because the FBI is investigating um, the the connection. It's how they're tracing back where they can they can reverse engineer um the hack into the wi-fi into the phone they can reverse engineer the pegasus software that allowed them to do this shit this this meta this meta meta spot i'm saying the name wrong right but it's a software that allowed them to hack your phone and watch you through your camera but i just wanted to show you if you start from the beginning of my videos and scroll forward, you will see the amount of work that has gone into protecting you 
and to know that they know who I am has made me very emotional. So I know this went very long, but this is a huge moment for us as activists, as people that are trying to protect new traders from scams. This is also a victory lap for us. They know who we are. The fraternal brotherhood of the fucked over and scammed. They know who we are. It's your boy, TJ.